Fun with plants. This would be a good grandpappy grandson project, and you better believe I'm going to be doing this. Project number one is what I did with my employee today. Actually, right now. Gave him a clipboard, four sharpened pencils, and on the clipboard was a, a wad of typing paper. Not a huge wad, but a wad nonetheless. And uh, two field guides to wildflowers and two field guides to the ferns. And I told him his job is to go out on the trails and identify two currently flowering plants, purple plants. So I'm imagining that he's going to come up with water avens or northern water avens, purple avens, and Herb Robert. In England, they call it stinking bob. Now, the, the criteria is on the front of the paper for each plant, he shall draw a picture that's good enough for me to identify the plant by just looking at the picture. On the back, that's the written description. Told him, as far as the fern, one fern, two purple flowering plants, right before we get to the, the meadow horsetail sign on the, on the beach trail, there's a maidenhair fern, which is should be easy to um, describe in a picture because maidenhair ferns are very characteristically maidenhair ferns. And so that is that. You can send somebody off with field guides and some paper, identify or find a certain number of plants, give them the colors, whatever, and then have them draw pictures and on the back of that paper for each plant a written description. And the picture should be good enough. It's good. Part two projects. And this is what we've done. You've seen it before. There's Nestor, it could be goat's beard. I'm going to say that's goat's beard, not dandelion, because goat's beard is cooler than dandelions. Inventory. Inventory the plants in a certain area, around your yard, um, around your woodlot, in your swamp, your favorite park, what have you. Make a list, and then go into computer land and create a book where you capture images of them, either your own pictures or else stock photos. You're not going to sell it, I'm assuming, so you can get whatever photos you want. Name of the plant, scientific name, um, locale, habitat, edibility, medicinal properties, and any notes you want. In this case, Cassie wrote notes on them because she worked here and was involved in this. We have spiderwort. We have yellow hawkweed. We have pipsissawa. We've got the monardas. We've got evening primrose, which is actually a really cool plant. Echinacea, curly dock, a.k.a. yellow dock common wormwood bone set. And so it goes on. And so this is a nice little project to do with your family. Create an inventory of the plants around your locale, your favorite place, and figure out what you can do with them or what happens if you make contact with them because some of them are not so great. Part three, a more involved process. You have your list of plants. And so how about creating these cool little tags and you can do this on a computer or hand write them with Sharpie, it doesn't matter. Card stock, and then laminate it. Go to your friendly neighborhood copy center and laminate them with the heaviest lamination possible. Make these little doohickeys I just used. These are actually just for stairs, what do you call them, those upright things. Two by twos, cut off at an angle, about 50 degrees, 45, whatever. Little block of wood, screw down, and then hot glue it. Hot glue it after you <laughs> sand the back because this lamination is pretty slippery, but sanding it scarfs it up enough for it to stick well. And that's that. Identifying, drawing pictures, actually making an inventory and creating your own guide to your locale, and marking your plants. And you can certainly make these blend in. You could use a different color of cardstock. You don't need to use dimensional pressure treated wood like I did on this. I've got 90 of these things out, so I went from using just pieces of small cedar saplings to these, you know, expediency, little piece of wood. And you can make it so it blends in so it actually look kind of pretty, you know, in your gardens. And that is that. I'm now going to enjoy another plant. Campfire coffee, as strong as all outdoors. Java Mountain, Java. Fresh roasted coffee. A lot better than 7-Eleven coffee, by gum. Weak coffee angers me. I'm going to cross in front. Excuse me. 